Yes. Style and fashion identity no, crisis. No, she's as my going body's through. She's going through just mental issues because again, she paid thirteen hundred dollars for We Govy a month. Well, t if you were a regular person, not getting it for free, and co-pilot, however much that is for a year, she's lost fifty pounds. No, 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 no. There's something wrong there. So I just Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I wanted to take a peek to see how Glitter in Lasers is doing, otherwise known as Anna O'Brien. Well, actually, it's Anna O'Brien, otherwise known as Glitter in Lasers. Um, she's somebody I've been uh, subscribed to for years and years, like seven, eight years. I don't know. Almost since she started on YouTube. So I, I really like her. I Please do not take this as any kind of not liking Anna or whatever. She's awesome. However, I've been watching her videos lately. Now, she posted this one video, which is what I'm reacting on today, about her try-on with Newly. Now, Newly is one of those rental places that um, you get to rent the pieces, and then if you like them, you buy them. If not, you send them back, and it's $99 a month. You get six pieces. Okay, I did that um, when I was losing weight after my weight loss surgery since I had to, um, you know, I still had to dress up and look really good for work. Everybody dressed up for work, like dresses and heels and stuff, suits. So um, I didn't want to buy all new clothes because I was losing weight rapidly. So I did one of those rental places called Winnie B. Um, it was okay. It was like, I think you had three pieces and then you, when you sent them back, you got another three or something like that. It wasn't too bad. I think it was maybe $120 a month, but you know, you could get a bunch of pieces if whatever. Anyways, my point is, is it's not a bad concept, especially when your body is changing and that will become a drinking game in a few minutes. But I was watching this video and I'm like, holy shit, this woman is sad as hell. Now, I know the Newly pieces didn't work for her. And if you look on Newly's website, it's all like hyper fashionable, you know, clothes that you wouldn't normally see people wear unless they're like at a very high class event. It's not something you wear to the grocery store. It's not even something you wear to, you know, work. This is more like you're going to a club, you're going on a nice luxury vacation. So she was sad they didn't work. But you have to take this into mind because as I was getting dressed, I was watching other YouTubers and um, she is going through some shit right now. So like, I'm going to show you a clip from um, the cynical guy who's awesome. He is showing her Instagram posts where she's melting down over a compliment. Okay, that's number one. So number two is I guess she's got some kind of flare up that caused her to gain like 40 pounds in a day or two, which is alarming. To me, that says congestive heart failure, but what the hell do I know? I'm not a medical professional, by the way. Just as a reminder, I had weight loss surgery about 10 years ago. Pretty much kept it off. So it can be done, folks. I was like 318 pounds. No, I wasn't Anna size. I wasn't, I wasn't even an uh, Alexandra Rodriguez size, but enough to where I had a mess and it was dragging my life down. So I know about autoimmune de diseases. They're very unpredictable. You can't really control them. Like it just some sometimes creeps up on you. And I also have lipedema, but not to the level Anna has it. Um, you know, you could probably stage mine at level one because I had weight loss surgery. Okay, guys. Yeah, it gets better with diet and exercise. Anyhow, I do want to show you real quick this clip from Cynical Guy. Um, and I think it'll set up the mood because this was all around the same time of when she filmed this try on haul. All right, guys. So this is the Cynical Guy. And if you're not, he does a lot of body positivity, um, opposite, what do you call that? 
cynicism, criticalness of body positivity. My words are gone today. Um, so he's a good follow. He's a good subscriber. Like, subscribe to him. And, mm, sorry, Papa, he's adorable. Okay, now come on. This man is adorable. Anywho, um, he's going to talk about glitter and lasers. So let's take a, just a few minutes of, uh, let's take a peek of just a few minutes of his video. I will link the whole video down below. Like I said, give him a subscribe. He's awesome. Today, we're going to be taking a look at a clip of glitter and lasers melting down because somebody gave her a compliment while she was out hiking. Apparently, somebody saying good job getting out there is enough to send her spiraling. Glitter and Lasers, also known as Anna O'Brien, is a plus-size influencer and See, fashion that, blogger like, who has over a million followers on Instagram. Yeah, and it's she has over a million followers on YouTube, but she does not get the views. I, I don't understand. I don't know. Does Instagram pay? I mean, maybe for her sponsorships. Maybe that's it. I don't know. We're also going to be taking a look at a couple of bonus clips from this same creator. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb. We all have our things as a YouTuber. <laughs> Stopped my run to have a little cry in this beautiful area. And, as you do. And um, I'm crying for a silly reason. Somebody stopped me on the trail while I was walking, just doing my cool down. I was doing like intervals today. So like I walk in between and she's like, good job getting out there. And it just felt so dehumanizing. <laughs> dehumanizing. <laughs> what? What? She said good job getting out there? Oh my god, dude. How did you recover from that? Did it yeah. send well, you spiraling or whatever? It felt so all right, it's it's like a backhanded compliment, but when it's a stranger, I mean, what are you going to do? What is that really a backhanded comment compliment? I don't know. It's when when like somebody you know says, "Good job getting out there." That's condescending. I don't know about dehum dehumanizing. I don't see. I mean, it would have been dehumanizing if she said something like, "Oh, you're a a pig, and you're getting out there." No, she didn't dehumanize you. At most, it was a backhanded compliment. It's so sh. And Why? Good job getting out there. How dare you? What? I just am having a bad day anyway. I came out here to run to try to feel better. Run. And I know this person was well-intentioned, but man, it felt shit. I, I know she's well-intentioned, but again, she should not be running. I'm sorry. Why? You just said you know they were well-intentioned. Why are you crying because somebody said good job getting out there? Although you said you were already crying, so it seems like you have a lot of issues already. She does. I'm curious why you were crying to begin with, right? I was out there running and crying, as you do, and then somebody came up and said good job to me. So I cried some more. It felt really bad. Okay, that was clip number one. I have four clips related to this particular incident, and then a few bonus clips after that. Thus far, I am very confused indeed. From her own point of view, nothing happened. Like, as you put it, they said, good job getting out there, and then you're like, they felt shitty. <laughs> well, why, though? But, but why, though? Next. And the saga continues. I already know I'm going to get a ton of DMs being like, she's well-intentioned. But you know what? I am about to start my period. I'm hormonal yes. AF. Yes. And I'm going to be really honest. Oh, uh, when you, when you um, are PMSing, that's an absolute excuse for shit behavior. Just so you know. Okay? Good. Honest here, that woman saw me and assumed that I was entirely out of shape and that it was hmm. my first day on the trail. And What? You don't know what she well, thought. She just said, good job getting out there. Yeah. I love how her and some people play. So the, here's the thing. You're not a mind reader, okay? Because a lot of these people, like all our girls do this. You don't know what people are thinking. You don't. Don't pretend you do. This game like you're shaming them if you're encouraging them. Like, would she have said, good job getting out there if you weren't living in a larger body? Perhaps not. Maybe she assumed because you're living in a larger body that you just started exercising. Because typically when you do this sort of activity for long enough, it results in uh, weight loss. And that's because she has yeah. conceived so, of right. what a plus size body. So really, this is the point. And this is why I bring this to everybody's attention. She's been taking WeGovy for a year, okay? It's been a year. She is working with a trainer 
on Copilot. So she's sponsored by WeGovy, sponsored by Copilot. So she's getting paid for this. So it's been a year. She's lost maybe 50 pounds. Something's wrong here, guys. Something's wrong. Because I know other people on these weight loss drugs, and they've been losing like 50 pounds in six weeks, okay? So, and people not even, um, not even as big as she is. So that's the issue here. I don't know what the hell's going on. I mean, I know she has Hashimoto's. Uh, she has lipedema, which I do too. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. And yes, if you would look at her, you'd think that today was her first day out on the run, out on the track. Yep. Is and is not able to do. Yeah, you don't typically see a lot of morbidly obese people jogging or exerting themselves physically because it's very difficult to do when yeah. you're that size and, and you don't typically get to that size from exercise. That rhymed. You don't get to that size from exercise. <laughs> Open your eyes wide. She's Step so on cute. the enterprise. Sorry. Sorry. I'm gushing. A Star Trek in there. And as a person who's out here every freaking day trying to change that perspective, it's frustrating. Well, if you're out there every single day and you're still obese, then I would say it's time for some dietary changes. Or Honestly, something. Honestly, eating poorly while exercising is pretty silly. But it's still so ingrained in our society. It kind of reminds me of those people on My 600 Pound Life who were given all the chances, the Dr. Now instruction, the weight loss surgery, and they're on TV for everybody to see, and they still don't lose weight. I don't get it, guys. I, I don't get it. Deeply ingrained. Deeply. It doesn't matter how many miles I run. It doesn't matter how many times I'm on the trail. Someone's always going to stop me and treat me that way, and it sucks. Okay, well, maybe they recognize that typically morbidly obese people can't jog. There's a lot of chub rub. There's a lot of excess weight. I can't strap a backpack on with an extra 150 or 200 pounds and go jogging for 13 miles. Unless I was in, like, basic training or something, I guess. Typically, when somebody sees somebody that's morbidly obese, yeah, they don't assume that they're working out a lot. Because obesity impedes your ability to work out and if you work out for long enough and have the proper diet you typically lose weight yeah, yeah. Home and yeah. somebody mm -hmm. asked me like what would I prefer she'd well that's what I mean like so I had weight loss surgery um it absolutely impedes what you can eat I don't care what you say um no unless you want to be in I mean retching pain like 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 hunched over rocking back and forth pain if you eat more than you can handle or the wrong food okay so somebody who manages to gain weight when they're at that stage loves pain more than you know health i guess said or done <laughs> yeah so we're still no on this to lose weight <laughs> The first four videos are related to this incident, and then the clips after that are bonus clips that are unrelated. And I thought about this because I think it's important to share that there are ways to engage or interact with people on the trail and even cheer them on yes. without making them feel less than. So Yes, that's the whole point of this BOPO movement and a lot of movements out there. It's trying to control people, okay? They're trying to control what people say. They would love to control what they think, but that's never going to happen. You just can't. So, unfortunately, I think that's a fruitless battle here. Like, you are never going to be able to control everybody's speech. Never. Like, unless you're, you know, 1985, you know, Orwell book, and then you just shoot them in the back of the head. But um, you're, you just can't do it. So, you doing this just makes you look foolish. My favorite thing that people do on the trail all the time is just give me a smile honestly that gives me a lot of energy you know and you have um oh is it whitney way thor she uh was mad because like a grocery um a checkout cashier told her to smile and she was pissed and flew off the handle that's why kind of want to do whitney way thor but i can't um so that's another trigger point for some of these people don't ask me to smile a smiling is easy i love smiling i smile all the time even when people don't deserve it <laughs> smiling at you gives you a lot of energy <sighs> well um the person didn't feel like smiling they felt like saying those words uh so they did you're not the boss of the trail and doesn't make me feel less than they did not intend to make you feel less than they intended to be encouraging 
you took it poorly because you're riddled with personal issues that yes. you cannot see past. <laughs> hey, Glitter and Lasers, how's it going? It's a beautiful day we're having, huh? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I'm not allowed to enjoy a beautiful day because I'm living in a larger body? Oh, what? God. Uh, that's yes. not what this, I said at this all. What the hell? All right, let's... This guy is fucking right on, guys. He's just right on. Let's try this again. Glitter and lasers. Hi. Hi. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Are you saying you're trying to hide from people living in a larger body because you hate the obese? Um, what? Dude, I literally can't say anything to you ever. This just goes to show, if you're riddled with personal issues, you'll think that people are trying to dunk on you in this, that, or the other way just because you can't see past them. That's why we gotta get over our issues. And it's easy. So I would say just yeah, well, give me a smile. Or at least pretend to get over your issues when you're a public figure. Dude, I'll interact with people however I want to. <laughs> I don't face. need your approval and I don't need you to guide me in my interactions. Thank you. I love it. And I love it. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So don't give this person a compliment or they will freak the hell out. Just look at them like this. <laughs> don't give them too much of a smile. Don't show a little bit of teeth. That's no. going too far and it's very fat phobic. And she can tell that you're judging her if she sees a little bit of that tooth in there. You can smile at me, but it must be like this. No more than two thirds of an upturned lip. <laughs> you go a little more than that. Now you're getting fat phobic. This... No good. No good. Get it out of here. I can feel your judgment, man. Okay. The way that you said looking good back there really sent me spiraling, you piece of garbage. How could you? <laughs> Next. Part four of the compliment saga. And honestly, I would say there's no need for words unless you know who I am and you know my journey. Oh, so yes. if I'm a fan and I see you out on the trail, then I could stop and say, hi, glitter and lasers. Anna O'Brien, I understand your journey, and I want well, to show my support. Well, I'm guessing yeah. that random passers-by on the trip. So that's what, that's it again. This is why I do these videos. I get their journey. I get it. I've been there. But at a certain point, you got to start showing results, man. I do not know you or your story. That's a lot of narcissism you got there. The world does not revolve around you, my friend. That's oh, a little bit different, right? I had wait. a guy fist bump me. Wait, 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 wait. The world doesn't revolve around plus size influencers? What? You're crazy cynical guy. Once and be like, I just think you're awesome and I love that you're sharing your story. Really? Did that happen? That's a very bizarre interaction. And that was awesome because there was context that made it clear that this person knew who I was. Okay, so they have to know who you are. Again, that's the second time you referenced that. You guys know that I'm famous, right? Um, if you don't know who I am, don't even speak to me. Okay, Do you know who I am? I would prefer if random passers-by on the street did not know who I was. And yeah. I just talked to them like a regular person. Did Amen. you guys know that I'm the cynical dude? <laughs> Then why do you even have an opinion on anything, oh, you moron? Get dude? out. If you're not subscribed wrong? to my channel, you basically do not exist. Amen. Honestly, that is how I feel. <laughs> you don't have to know who I am, but you do have to subscribe and watch all the stupid Absolutely, videos. Absolutely, guys. I wish I could become super rich without being famous. That would be great. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm kind of super famous, and there's nothing I can do about that anymore. It, what is this? What am I doing with my shoulders? I don't know. When I start getting too confident, all kinds of silly crap happens, dude. You don't want me to start believing in myself. Oh my God, this whole thing will go completely off the rails. I understood what I was doing and what it took to get there. And that made it feel more sincere versus diminutive. It wasn't okay when the woman gave you a compliment because she didn't know who you were. She brought that point up twice. I would hope that random people walking on the trail didn't know who you were. That would be really annoying. Yeah. That's a crazy amount of ego on the person for them to want everybody to know who they are before they're allowed to show any sort of support. I'll gladly give you what you want and not show you any sort of encouragement. You can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never accomplish anything. Is that what you want? Now we're going to be taking a look at a couple of bonus clips. You might see me as just fat, but I'm also annoying. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And assume I am lazy and eat too much. Well? I have lipedema. I love the look on her face right here. Eh, uh, so do I. See, you guys were wrong. Mm. 
Look at the sign, yeah. I'm pointing at the words that I'm thinking. It causes abnormal weight gain in my thighs, butt, arms, and more. Okay. Does it also cause weight gain in the stomach and the neck and the back? The face. And the, the sides. Pack. It's regular fat. So the problem is there's lipedema fat that doesn't go away. That's like different fat cells. It's like weird. It's why they try to remove those actual cells through um, liposuction. But in order to do that, you have to lose the regular fat. So every inch on her body is not lipedema fat, okay? It's lipedema fat aggravated by fat fat. Everywhere at once, because I thought it was mostly localized to like the legs and it was very obvious when you look at it, right? It's a progressive disorder. That means it only gets worse over time. If you don't take care of it, absolutely. Time. Okay, I was unaware that people will just keep getting larger and larger and larger due to lipedema. I've seen some of Jordan Underwood's treatments for this, and they consist of dietary changes as well as leg wraps and other stuff Exercise. like that. Exercise. Vibration. Yeah. She just did this little it's sigh like to the side. shit-eating grin. Uh, and then looked back at the camera well, like, mm-hmm, see? It's not a shit-eating grin, it's a smugness. Right. Here. Oh, woe is me. And then back to the, mm, look, I'm upbeat now. I hate how people emulate these faces that they see from cartoon movies these days. <laughs> You're making Pixar faces right now. <laughs> I have a condition. Hmm. But it's going to be okay. <laughs> Please stop watching Pixar movies. <laughs> this fat can't be lost through diet and exercise. Only expensive yeah. and painful surgery. Mm -hmm. Dude, there's plenty of people that have lost weight when they have lipedema. Yes, yeah. At, well, she's talking about uh, liposuction. And insurance doesn't cover that. All right, so that was an interesting public service announcement about lipedema. All right, so with that being said, let's take a look at this video. And um, you'll see just an overarching sadness. Now... I'll be honest with you. I would love to try newly just because like I'm going on vacation soon and I think it would be fun to wear some pieces, but I don't know, hundred bucks, man. Oof. Pop would kill me. My body has been changing. Oh, and yes. And I've had like a weird- So drinking game. Every time she says her body's changing, take a drink with of water. Water, guys, water. You need to be hydrated or coffee guilt about it because I want to wear clothing that makes me feel and look fantastic but I also don't want to spend a lot of money on stuff that I may only wear for a couple months so I've been researching alternatives and one specific ad has been haunting me on TikTok I swear I see That's it all, problem. all the time and it's oh shit they advertise on TikTok I can't do it then for a brand called Newly. It's not a brand. Last week, I just broke down and signed up for it. I want to see if it's any good, and I'm going to share with you guys my experience. I haven't even opened it up yet, and I already have some thoughts. So when I was filling out the form, I realized a lot of the pieces were from just like normal anthropology. Okay. And more specifically, anthropology one season so late. So a lot of the items that are... I would love that. I own zero anthropology pieces. So, I don't know. Getting passed off as new are Whatever. actually old she school anthropology She has kind of items, money. Which, I don't know, makes me feel a little weird. I got to see how much these <sighs> things are priced if you want to buy them. Also, when... Yeah, Legally Blonde, that's what this reminds me of. She was talking about the shoes of that person or so last season. Come on, guys. Who cares? You signing like it, up, you like signing it. Signing up. I did notice that you do a lot of collaborations with designers that sometimes don't make plus oh. or have made plus and it's just not something I could ever afford and also sells out really quickly. So okay, I was able to pull and I did pull some of these for our looks today, items that genuinely would be outside of my financial window. And she's got a pretty big financial window. Um, and I can't point out guys, button flies jeans no just just no or maybe a once in a while purchase that i could rent every month so that's what i know about signing up let's see what i actually got in the package sure oh, also adding stuff to my closet was really easy but i felt like i had to dig 
and dig really hard. And I don't know, I didn't love that. But then I also realized that that's just because I'm super picky and I wanted to make sure I got six items um, I could potentially really love for this. So, okay. There were a lot. When I did Gwynny B, I used to try on styles or rent styles that I wouldn't normally pick just to see how they fit and how I thought about them. And some of them were really awesome. And even though I would never have picked it up if it was in a store, it looked really good on me. And it sort of opened my eyes fashion-wise, but not this one. She probably picked through to find the most outrageous and look at me, look at me stuff you could possibly find, which is pretty much the whole newly idea. I to pick from more than I thought. I think there were several thousand plus size garments. Uh, but like I said, some of those garments aren't so fresh and new. Um, now with that, let's just see what I got. So the newly I got was six pieces for $99, or at least that was the price I was offered when Oof. I signed up on their website. Now I did select all these yeah, pieces myself ugh. and ugh. each of the pieces are from a different brand. So let's go through them really quickly. First, we have this sheer turtleneck and this is from Rachel Antonoff. Then we have this yellow velvet skirt and this is from Maeve ugh. by Anthropology. Lee. We have this soft rainbow tulle dress and this is from Blink London. We have this super dope jacket with sunburst design on the back. And this is from Classic Rock Couture. This is my favorite. <laughs> Hands down. I this wonder how much this is. a faux leather sell. jumpsuit Oof. and it's from A Plus by Anthropology. Yikes. Lastly, that we looks have like this ridiculously. That looks like a poodle. Okay. I think of poodle when I think of that. Like very 2000 sweater from Show Me Your Moo Moo. And it was like a special co collaboration with Newly. And uh, it still has the tags on it, which that means nobody's worn it. So that's actually pretty good. New with tags. Makes me concerned. Am I allowed to take them off? Does not say. <laughs> okay, I was so pumped about this jacket. Like I thought it was the dopest thing it, ever. I mean, it's cute. It's good I mean, color look for at her. It. But... I, still, I still feel it's a very cool jacket, but this is not a 3X. This feels like a size 18. Okay, sweetheart, sweetheart. It's a little too small on me. I am. Baby girl, we love you. We love you. You're not a 3X. Sorry, hon. Not an 18. Sucks. I'm living that 2022 20, land on top, but I should very comfortably no, she's not. be able to wear a 3X jacket. No. And Anything. This is just, it's okay. not size. So correctly. I have lipedema too. I'm very small up top. And comparatively, I'm not tiny. I know that. But bottom wise and top wise, I'm completely different sizes. Unfortunately, whenever you get a jacket or something that comes down past your waist, you have to purchase the size that fits your lower half. I just You always have to go with what's the biggest part on your body. It sucks and it makes clothes really hard to wear. So I get it. Well, at least I wasn't made aware that it maybe had alternative sizing, which I think is important to know because I think when you're renting clothing, whether it fits you or not is pretty important. So also when the idea of renting guys is to try things okay it's not like a um what do they call those stitch fix no this is a try it see if you like it see how it fits not every there's no like usda for sizing okay there's just there's just not Okay, you have to try the different styles, the different things. If it works, it works. You're taking a $99 gamble, basically. Okay. Hmm. It on, which is like, glad I didn't buy it. It's like kind of hard to style. Like, is it a dope jacket? Yes, but like, I kind of gave up on what to wear with it because other yeah, than a white tan that. jeans, which oh. has been my go-to for the past week. She could wear like, it like that. What do you wear this over? It's just that you look fine. If that fit you, that would be perfect. What, why does everything have to be a whole, look at me, look at me. I'm wearing glitter and lasers. It's, it's meant to be the moment. And I'm glad I rented it because now I just put it in the box and send it back because I'm probably, I'm probably not going to wear it. Good. That's so the purpose. I guess purpose. one for Newly and zero for my choices. Okay. okay. Loki, I thought this oh, was going to be so cute. No. What the fuck? Okay. Who looks at that? 
a real person. So like a real person, not a runway model, not somebody going to some event that's, you know, people are going to be at like a glitzy event. Who would have fucking thought? Who would have fucking tried that on? Like, I don't know, an 18 year old. What what is what did she really think was going to happen with that? Come on, guys. It's not. I just don't think it works the way I want it to work. No shit. Also, the tags are still attached, and I do have a lot of anxiety on whether I can take the tags off or not. And I probably would never wear this out of fear of damaging the tags and then not being able to send it back because this is also... No, they, you could take the tags off. I thought I was so excited, guys. <laughs> it's brand are, new. They're going to clean it. Not They're going to take the tags off. how I expected them to turn out. Mm. I'm hoping I'm it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. No, not with the okay, shit. Okay, so you, here's the deal. Okay, I love what the this fuck? Track. I think it's super cool, but I am also very aware of the fact that I'm not this girl. What? Like, I can appreciate. What is the pattern on that? That this is a cool garment while also acknowledge it's just not my vibe. Also, I don't think I would have known it wasn't my vibe until I put it on yeah. because I think I'm was attracted to the pattern, but this style of pattern on me i feel like it washes me out a little bit mm -hmm. not your color uh it's not colorful enough i know it is very colorful but it's not like bright enough not for it's her mm -mm. more of a dull kind of muted <laughs> i know this is not muted at all but you know what i mean it's less it's less warm than a lot of the things i wear so i don't think it's terrible i just uh it's not for you okay yeah i'm on. glad i rented this <laughs> It. it's sad because most of the perks of the newly service so far for me have been the fact that thank god i don't own these clothes <laughs> and they're all my well, choices so it's only my fault <laughs> oh well yeah it's, uh, it's something i will also probably not wear this guys i really thought i was gonna wear all of you these. really thought a bright fucking yellow skirt was gonna work it's like Arr! Look at me! Look at this! It's like accentuating. She's beautiful. No shit. Um, but why would you accentuate the biggest part of your body? I just don't get it, guys. These things and oh, show shit. up and show out and it is not going that way today. Holy shit. It's just not. It's my own fault. I picked these things out. Why did I pick these things out? Because you're weird. I have two pieces left. Pray for me. I realized why I don't like this dress. I realized why. If I I don't know what to say. She looks like a pinata, guys. I'm sorry. I know I'm going to hell. If this were the red color at the bottom. I feel like it would make everything more cohesive because it would sandwich. Yeah, it's two accentuating your body and then your bottom half. I think the colors would just blend better. I think this just makes it like you're going from a happy place and then you get here and it's just like looks like skin vibrant and colorful it's not her color sad right and i want people to look up to my face with a smile <laughs> this is but not no, making people want to look at your face that's what bothers me yes. is that it just puts such a boring i mean pretty but very neutral color right here at the face and that's where i want people to look me in the face i want people to look me in the eyes i want to be like bold and bright and i think having a brighter color upward would make me like this dress. I think it would also make this dress more unique. But if we're keeping track at home, <laughs> this is thing number five that I just don't really like that much. <laughs> the last thing is I'm holding oh out God. all hope for. Doesn't because stay. if this is 100% a failure, honestly, it's been a rough She's week. She's really sad. See? And... It never feels good. See, that's why it's great to get like context of what's going on. Cause she, she can make these fun, bright videos all she wants, but she's having a hard time faking it here, guys. To have clothing look bad on you. And it never feels good to try on something you're excited about and have it just not work for you. It doesn't matter like how much you get in front of a camera. It doesn't matter how many people follow you online. It still sucks every time. And with my body changing, oh. It's like drink. I'm getting that culture shock again because I I knew my size so perfectly before that I never had to go through the pain of like things not working. And now it's every time I try on clothes 
And okay, baby girl, it's not unique to you. It happens to straight sized people all the time. We all have different body types. I, like I said, you buy, you know, three shirts from Amazon because you like the way that the first one looked that you bought it. So you got one in pink, then you go back, you get one in black and you get one in blue. They all fit differently. Okay. That's what fucking life is. I'm sorry. It sucks, but we're all there. Not just you and not just plus size people. I'm a pretty strong woman, but no, you're not. Today it's getting me. So we're going to just focus on this last piece. It's going to be great. Okay. <laughs> Why? So here, here we go. Um, it, it, it fit. You got it on your body. It didn't fit. Look, that is not tight on that model, okay? And why on earth would you look at this and think that this would be good for you? Why? Oh, why? I Fits, don't get it. But caveat. No, I you got it on your body. Wouldn't keep it because the zipper's in the back. I don't know why I thought it would be in the front, but it's in the back. And I live alone. John had to help me in and even... Even there, like the zipper's a little... It, it doesn't fit you. Not great, because obviously this lady's been worn a couple times. So, uh, you know what? We're going to take the win. It looks fantastic on me. No, it doesn't. And uh, I will wear it right now. <laughs> Please enjoy it. And probably never again. So, okay. That's where we're at. I'm going to take a second to refresh and then come back with my final thoughts. So I put something comfy on and I took a little minute to think about it before I came to the camera because I wanted to be super fair. I don't think newly worked for me. It did. I well, will be canceling my subscription. I will be returning the clothing and so maybe it would have worked for you. You had terrible choices, okay? That's bottom line. And, it, and like I said, it's it's probably not for everybody cuz like I said these are very high fashion. I mean, I don't know. They're just like, you'd never find an outfit like she's wearing on there. So. I just don't think it's an option for me. <laughs> I think that I don't know what wrong. I don't know how I got where I got, but it did not make me feel great. And I don't want to go back, but that is loaded with a lot of stuff that's going on in my personal See? life right now. I've been having some, um, flare ups and stuff like that so i just yeah, I don't, don't know feel what that means as yeah i don't know does hashimoto's have flare ups i don't know i know ms which is another autoimmune disease you get relapses but it doesn't cause you to gain weight but um yeah i'm curious is she's her lipedema is flaring up i mean if you eat a bunch of salt and you sit around all day like you know other girls hmm, in girl world have yeah i could see it flaring up getting more stiff i mean it's it's painful when you have um very swollen legs it feels stiff it's hard to move but it's because you haven't been moving that that happens amazing about myself oh, as i normally feel and so i'm more own. judgmental i would say newly probably looks really really great for mid-sized girls it probably works great for people that sit in between the two sizes but as someone who still wears, you know, a 3X on bottom and a 2X sometimes you wish. on top, I feel like the sizes are a little small in some cases and also difficult to tell what they look like on a body why you of my them. size. Because most of the people trying them on yeah. for the photos are smaller. So I think that it's just... AKA normal to, you know, model size. It's luck of the draw, guys. It did not work Ugh. for me, but it might work for you. And I'm muddy on it because I don't want to be like, this is horrible. But I also had a horrible experience and don't love it. But at the same time, I think if I were more familiar with my body and how I fit in a bunch of different brands, picking clothing would be easier and probably more rewarding. But I'm going through my own personal, like, Yes. Style and fashion identity. No, crisis she's as my going through, she's going through just mental issues because again, she paid $1,300 for WeGovy a month. Well, t if you were a regular person not getting it for free and co-pilot, however much that is for a year, she's lost 50 pounds. No, 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 no. There's something wrong there. So I just don't think it was the right experience at the right time. 
So maybe in the future. I mean, the reality is, is maybe I just need to stick to what makes me feel good, even if it's predictable and obvious and oftentimes coordinated sets. And maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe that's just who I am. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I've linked Newly down below if you think- Is she going, look at me, look at me. And now she doesn't want people to look at her because she's always worn crazy shit. That's why Newly should have worked for her, but she picked things. I think she picked things that she knew would not fit her. All right. I'm sorry, but that leather suit, that like, um, poodle looking sweater. She really thought that that was going to work for her. Really? Okay. I think it might work for you. Uh, again, they have I, a lot I don't of stuff it, on but there. I do not love it for myself. <laughs> but you know what? Onward and upward, right? Today's not so great, but tomorrow might be amazing. And that's the beautiful thing about life. It is always changing. Yeah, it's true. And we are always changing as well. It's true. So keeping it positive. I hope you have an Keep amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace. So this was 11 days ago. Look, 20,000 views and 2.1 million subscribers. There's something wrong, okay? That's a lot. Let's say she's buying subscribers. That's a lot of subscribers to buy when she's only getting 20,000 views. But again, it's not the subscribers. It's the views. That's how you're paid. I mean, maybe subscribers look good to sponsors because that's kind of a lot more money than YouTube pays. But all right, let's see. Here we go. They are all too small for you. Amen. I've been thinking about Newly for the exact same reason. I've dropped out of plus sizes, but still have 20 pounds to get to goal. The clothing selection was really my only downside to trying it. Now I'm even more perplexed. Yeah, this girl probably wants regular clothes and these are like high fashion shits. Hmm. I just don't like any of these items. I guess I'm just not in style. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm more of a classics type of person. like. Give me a well-made tweed jacket, right? Or um, a tailored shirt or even like, you know, just a kind of pretty t-shirt. That's who I am. So I wonder if there's a rental place for that. Okay, seriously, this is what I said and I didn't want to be mean. That dress is giving pinata. Yes, it was. It looked like a pinata. Never go by what the tag says in terms of sizes. You must measure for yourself and go by that. Exactly. Oh, here we go. I had the same problem with Gwynny B finding my right size. It took me probably three months to find the sizes that fitted me. However, by then it got so expensive to rent that I gave up. I did really like their clothing though. I mean, yeah, it's not every piece is going to work for you. And if you get a bunch of pieces that don't work, immediately send them back so you could get more pieces. I don't know. Guys, when you're when you're going down and if you have to look good, you know, you're going to work, something, you have the rental is the only way to go, okay? Cuz why buy stuff that you're not going to fit in in a month? All right, I'm going to close out with this um I mean, her, her comments are mostly glowing, which is good. I mean, look, nobody likes shit comments and people being mean. I just want reality. Here's, here's reality here. While a body is changing, it's so hard spending mo money on clothes that may not fit you in a short period. Well, that's really why you rent. You rent, you have these fun pieces, you go out, you do your thing, you pack them up and you send them back. Okay, it's $100 for high fashion clothes. I, you know, I don't see a real downside to that. All right, guys. So that was a good catch up with Anna. Um, she's really not doing well mentally or physically. It's sad to watch. Um, but here we are. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.